Hello again, and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover, including an update to a story we covered days ago about the baby, which we'll get to in a bit. Now, Grip recently gave fans an update on his upcoming album, dropping on Friday in the article, Grip almost gave up on rap, then Eminem called, and he had more to say about his collaboration with Eminem, and it's safe to say that nearly every fan on the internet got it wrong in the guessing games about the title of the track that features Eminem, as this was revealed in the interview and more. We also have Proof Son Nassan, who recently shared a story about Eminem, one that got him inspired as an artist seeing where Eminem has reached in his career. And before we dive into the details, if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So we'll start with Grip's upcoming album, I Died For This. You gotta say it like that. And Grip explained why in this interview. It's like starting out in this ish, you work hard, and this is what you always wanted. Then you get to the point like right now, where you're like, damn, I did all this, but I sacrificed so much. And from the interview, the track with Eminem embodies this concept. Before now, fans guessed that the track Enemy was the Eminem feature because of the reverse E associated with Eminem, but Grip revealed it wasn't in a recent livestream. And in this interview, he spoke about the Eminem collaboration that no one was able to guess beforehand. The track Walkthrough, and in response to this, we've got to talk about Walkthrough, that's the one with the Eminem feature. And that M verse is interesting because he's addressing you directly. He says your name and he's talking to you, basically warning you about what's gonna come with the success. Did you know that was coming or were you surprised when you heard that? Shortly after describing what his anticipation for Eminem's verse was during the production process, Grip had this to add about the song. I made that song with M in mind. And when I played him the album, I just remember him saying the hook is nuts. So I was like, yeah, this is a song I actually wanted you to get on. In my verse, I'm talking about where I come from, what I had to get through to get to this point. Then his ish is coming from a veteran's perspective, who went through this already, and who thought that cash was gonna change things, but then he gets into the perils of this ish. Grip continues, we didn't talk about it beforehand, it sounded like good chemistry, but I'm just glad that he effed with it enough to hop on it and give it 32-40 bars however long he went. I was excited, that's huge, the fact that he even mentioned my name, it was one of those things, now it's really full circle, now I got a track with Eminem, it was a surreal moment, and Grip ended that segment with, with that verse, it was like I pulled something out of him. I'm excited for the fans to hear that. I feel like the song is dope as hell. Hopefully, that's a fan favorite. Of course, it'll probably be the biggest song. Not probably. It will be the biggest song I've done so far, for sure. Now, this part of the interview has sparked reactions on the internet for obvious reasons. And on Reddit, for instance, a thread pops up stating, Why do they always say this, laughing my bum off? Since artists who collaborate with Eminem always make fans anticipate the songs with comments like, it was like I pulled something out of him, or Eminem hasn't rapped like this since the Eminem show, you know, to create anticipation as they should. And on Reddit, it is clear that some aren't fans of Eminem's verse and no favors with takes like, Laughing my bum off reminds me of when Big Sean said he sounds like old M before No Favors released. And I have to say, the science is right on the money, check this out. Many studies suggest that we are more likely to remember negative experiences over positive experiences. I say this because most of the time, when Eminem collaborates with artists, it turns out great, but like the science says, people tend to remember the negatives the most regardless, and some remember Fat Joe saying something similar before Lot Above dropped. Reminds me of what Fat Joe said about Eminem's feature being his best in like a long time or something, laughing my bum off. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was good, but not his best. Last M feature that really blew me away off the top of my head was on Bang by Conway the Machine. But some get the point, they do this to hype up the song. And Eminem has set the bar so high that expectations go through the roof before any new release, so I get why some fans are disappointed sometimes. There was a lot said in that interview, so for more, check out the link in the description. But long story short, I can't wait for Friday. Moving on, here's a quick update on the baby cancellation drama we covered a few weeks ago about some comments he made that sparked outrage. And here's where the cancellation has led to. 
the baby is no longer listed on the credit for Dua Lipa's levitating on the newly published Hot 100 issue on Billboard's website. In essence, he's been cancelled from his joint most successful collaboration so far on the charts. And remember, according to an insider, he has a song with Eminem made for M's upcoming album, but the source claimed that's now in jeopardy. And seeing how many on Twitter are celebrating the new report, one has to wonder how the internet will react if the baby does make Eminem's rumored album, throw Elton John on the hook, and servers around the world will literally melt down. Moving on, Proof Son Nassan, who's also a promising rapper, recently shared a story about Eminem that he deemed inspiring. It goes, Sometimes I randomly think about when I was sitting with Paul and M and some platinum plaques came in the mail. Guy goes, where should we put these? Paul, uh, just throw them in the closet with the rest. We don't have room. I was like, bruh, what? This was so inspiring. Fans have always wondered why the label doesn't update Eminem certifications in the United States since RIAA updates have to be paid for, unlike how it's done by the BPI in the United Kingdom. And who knows, maybe a reason is because they've run out of room. A user responds to Nassan, dude has diamond plaques. When you have those, platinum plaques lose their luster. <laughs> Go ish. It's why they are waiting for curtain call and recovery to go diamond before they pay for any updates, in my opinion. That will be all for today. Share your thoughts below and see you on the next one.